The defeat of all Pima County bond proposals is a strong statement from voters. They essentially said they're tired of high taxes and county debt. And now an issue you may not be aware of, the salary paid by taxpayers to County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry. Here's News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz. Chuck Huckleberry is the highest paid county administrator in Arizona by far. Pima County's chief executive officer has an annual salary of $320,865. What do you think of Chuck Huckleberry's salary? I think it's outrageous. I know it's a, a big job, but that's a lot of money for that job. Huckleberry's salary is $75,000 more than Arizona's second highest paid administrator in Maricopa County, who makes $246,000 and nearly triple the $113,000 the state's lowest paid county administrators make in La Paz and Yuma. Huckleberry has been on the job 22 years, much longer than any of his counterparts. But in a county with a median household income of $45,000, where, according to the most recent U.S. Census, 19% of residents live below the poverty level, and with high property taxes and debt, Huckleberry's salary angers many taxpayers. I think it's kind of high compared to what I used to make before I retired, and I had a heck of a lot more responsible job. That's an amazing salary, just amazing. Huckleberry's pay is more than the governor's, the attorney general's, and the secretary of state's combined. It is lower than President Obama's salary of $400,000. The only higher county manager's salary we found is the $355,000 paid to the L.A. County CEO. That is the nation's largest county with a population 10 times Pima's 1 million residents. According to the International City County Management Association's latest survey, the median county administrator's salary is 140000 Congratulations, Mr. Huckleberry, by the way. Huckleberry is not an elected official. He's appointed by the Board of Supervisors. His salary and pay raises voted on by them. Mr. Huckleberry's current contract was approved by supervisors in January of 2013 by a 3-2 to two vote. The no votes cast by Supervisors Miller and Carroll, but after Carroll voted no, he went on to praise Mr. Huckleberry. Mr. Chairman, I do want to commend Mr. Huckleberry. Running a county in these economic times is not an easy task, and Mr. Huckleberry has done an admirable job. That praise from the Republican the Carroll prompted Democrat Richard Elias to offer some comic relief. A lot of congratulating for a no vote. <laughs> The News 4 Tucson investigators requested an interview on Huckleberry's salary with all five supervisors. I think it's, it's um, not acceptable that in this time that we're in. Only Allie Miller made herself available. Well, it's shocking, and especially when you consider yourself a, a public servant and you're here for the good of the people. Congratulations on your successful reappointment as county administrator. You are a friend of Pima County. We made several requests to interview Mr. Huckleberry. He was not available by our deadline, but we have asked him for an interview for a follow-up report. His contract expires in January of 2017, two months after all five supervisors are up for re-election. If Huckleberry wants to stay on the job, it could be interesting to see during the supervisor's campaigns if voters will ask candidates how they will vote on Mr. Huckleberry's next salary. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson. All right, so what do you think of Huckleberry's salary? We're talking about it on Facebook and you can join the conversation. Just search News 4 Tucson KVOA.